Do you have all the protection you need when riding your motorcycle? Well, maybe it's time to upgrade your riding gear. Bon Armor has just released its Level 2 Body Armor, and today on Cruise Man's Reviews, we're going to take a close look at it, see if it really does offer better protection. And that's coming up right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Cruise Man, and today I'm going to take a close look at Bond Body Armor's brand new Level 2 Body Armor. This is pretty exciting stuff. But before we start the show, if you have a passion for motorcycles, I would invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, it's completely free. All you have to do is click that little subscribe button down below the video, and if you click on the bell icon, you can have YouTube let you know when I come out with new videos. Bond Body Armor did not sponsor this video. No money exchanged hands. However, they did send me this new Level 2 Armor to test and review. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you about a special discount code that Bond is offering to my YouTube subscribers. If you've been watching my channel for any time, you know that I'm a big believer when it comes to safety gear. You may also know that I'm a big fan of Bond Body Armor. A couple of years ago, I even did a review of Bond Body Armor, so if you have not seen that video, I'm going to put a link in the corner of this video and in the description down below. So make sure you check it out if you haven't seen it already. One of my favorite features of the Bond Body Armor gear is that the armor is much more comfortable than what comes with most riding gear. And the Bond Body Armor system is flexible. Now I know a lot of you guys like to ride with nothing more than blue jeans or shorts even and a t-shirt. It may be comfortable, but it offers no protection. You can slip the Bond Cool Mesh Armored Shirt over that t-shirt for protection and even wear your riding jacket over it or just wear one of their all-season mesh armored shirts. You get ultimate comfort and protection and of course they have lower body protection too. Bond Body Armor has just released their Level 2 Armor which offers the comfort Bond is famous for and it's now CE Level 2 certified. The previous Bond armor was polymer based, whereas this new Level 2 armor uses a viscoelastic foam. Bond has partnered with Sastec, a world leader in the manufacturing of CE certified back and limb protection. So what does all this CE rating stuff really mean? Well, CE loosely translates to conformity European, meaning that the product conforms to a European safety standard. And in case you're wondering, there is no comparable U.S. certification or rating for body armor. And as it pertains to body armor, Level 1 certification is given to products where the maximum transmitted force is below 18 kilonewtons. Now, a kilonewton is basically just a measurement of the force being transferred through the armor. Level 2 certification requires that the armor have a maximum transmitted force of less than 9 kilonewtons. Basically, half of the form transmitted through Level 1 certified armor. The CE Level 2 certification applies to Bond Body Armor's new shoulder, knee, back, elbow, and hip protectors. There is no CE testing or certification process for thigh or tailbone protectors at this point. The viscoelastic foam material used in the new Level 2 armor is designed to last for many years. And unlike most other armor products, it's repeat use. Now that means that, God forbid, you do have a mishap causing the armor to absorb an impact. It does not have to be replaced unless it's visibly damaged. This new Level 2 armor will fit all of your existing Bond body armor shell garments and you can even use this new armor in many other brands of gear, such as my Olympia riding jacket or pants. 
Now, after this short break, we're going to take a really close look at this new Level 2 armor, so stay tuned. So now let's actually take a look at what this new Bond Level 2 Bond armor looks like. Well, I'm going to first look at the shoulder protectors, and I'm going to show you it compared to the previous Bond armor. And this is the new Level 2 CE Level 2 certified Bond armor elbow, or sorry, shoulder protector, which goes up here in your garment. You'll notice that not only is it lightweight, it's extremely flexible. It's, it, it has kind of a rubbery feel, which the previous Bond armor did also. This is the previous version from Bond. And you'll notice they're about the same size, but you will notice on the new Level 2 armor, there's a lot of holes in the armor, and that's for ventilation. So not only is this lightweight, but it's also very cool. And in the summertime, that's going to translate into comfort. Now, I also brought along a D30 shoulder protector, just to show you by comparison. It also has a few holes in it for ventilation, and it also provides Level 2 protection, CE certified Level 2. But when you weigh these on a scale, which I brought along a little scale here, and I'll just show you, the D30 protector for the shoulder is 3.4 ounces. Now, when we look at the Bond Level 2 armor, which offers the same or better protection than the D30, let's put it on there, 2.3 ounces. So that's a 1.1 ounce weight difference, almost 30% lighter than the D30 armor. You multiply that times all of the armor pads in your uh, gear, and now you're talking some weight difference. It's even lighter than the previous Bond Armor shoulder protector. I did check it just to make sure. Now, when we move on to elbow and forearm protection, this is the difference here. This is our Level 2 protector. You'll notice the holes again for ventilation and cooling. This is the previous Bond Armor. Again, they're both very flexible. This one has a, a little bit more articulation. There's some uh, kind of cuts in it so that it will uh, move a little freer, but it's very soft, very pliable, but yet can absorb that shock and that impact to give you the protection that you need. Very nice. The biggest difference I noticed was in the back protector. This is the previous Bond Armor back protector, and honestly, it was really just mostly a pad. It was just kind of a a padded back rail. It didn't really provide a lot of protection. There's a little bit of a thicker area here on the spine, but it really didn't provide huge protection. The new back protector, the Level 2 Bond Armor back protector, is very substantial. It's very thick, but yet it's still lightweight. It has a lot of holes in it for ventilation to keep you cool, and I'm very pleased with this new back protector and much improved over the previous one. Now, the previous Bond Armor hip protecting pads uh, were specified left and right. They had an L and an R on them, and you had to put them in the correct side. The new one is not. The new one is basically you can put either one on either side, and it has this channeling uh, designed into it. It's extremely flexible. I mean, you can literally kind of roll it up. It's so flexible compared to the previous one, which is more like a, a, like a piece of rubber. And even though this was CE Level 1, uh, this gives you CE Level 2 protection uh, for your hips. Very nice. And then thigh protector the same way. The only difference, like I said before, for thigh and tailbone, there really is no CE certification or rating. But these were also, the old ones were left and right specified, and they did have this articulation built in and a, a few little tiny holes, but the new one has this air channeling, and this fits up next to your body, while this kind of fits on the outside, so it channels the air to keep you cooler, and it still gives you protection. It's still the same material that they use over here in the hip protection. It's just not certified, but it is the same material. So that, and also for your tailbone protector, what I, what I love about this new stuff is how flexible it is. And this also makes it extremely easy 
uh, to put into your garments, to into your bond garments or your Olympia riding pants or what other riding pants you wear. So you can put these in anything. They don't have to go in bond products. So that's a quick look at the difference between level one, level two uh, bond system. And I, I'm just I'm just totally impressed. After spending a few days with this new CE Level 2 armor, I'm convinced that it's as comfortable as the original Bond armor, perhaps even more so, and it offers better protection. It's lighter than my D30 gear and offers the same or better protection with less weight. And maybe best of all, Bond Body Armor is an American company with products made right here in the USA. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be swapping all of my armor in my Bond garments and my Olympia riding jacket and pants with this new Bond Level 2 armor. Now, if you're interested in this new Level 2 body armor, Bond is offering my YouTube subscribers a special discount code that you can use when you place your order. Good for any Bond products. This offers for a limited time, and I'll put all the details in the description of this video. If you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please take a second to click the like button under the video. That really does help this channel and it gives us the ability to create more content like this and it's much appreciated. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you again soon on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.